Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome fingerstyle arrangement lesson right here on Lickin' Riff, in which we'll learn the SpongeBob SquarePants ending theme. First, I'm gonna play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick, note by note, chord by chord, with tabs right here on the screen, as usual. So, it goes like this, enjoy. So uh, you can tell it's separate takes because the dog is still standing in this one. All right, so um, you start with E, the, the infamous E chord, uh, the bane of our existence. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so E, and you just play this, okay, which is the fourth string down up, turning our, your back on us, huh? Um, and then, he doesn't understand English anyway. Um, okay, so it's two on the fourth string, down, up, then two on the fifth string, down, up. Okay, what about the sixth string, you ask? If you really want to play it, just play it with the fourth. Okay, as a low E, so you have an octave, so. And then just let it ring. Now, the main melody is this, okay, and you can pull it off, and then just this. So it's 7 pull off to 6, or just 7, 6, on the E string, and then 9 on the 2nd and 1st strings. Then, after this, you have the 7 again, with 7 on the 6th string. Okay, so play it. Okay. Now, I forgot to mention that you should play the sixth string when you play the first seven. So you play the uh, first seven with the sixth string and the last seven with seven on the sixth string, right? And then you can just play the open sixth string and the seven again, right? To keep on the E, B, E, B bass, uh, bass line going. Okay, so you get this. And you can slap after each bass note. Okay. So that's the main riff, and you can stop there if you like. Um, but if you want to learn the whole thing, put on B7, and then you play. Okay. It's the same uh, idea as the first riff with E, and you just play strings 5 and 4. Bass, down, up, um, alternate bass, down, up. Okay? And you can vibrate if you like. Okay, to get that uh, original sound there. Okay, you can vibrate the chord if you want. Uh, just make sure the open strings stay open when you do. And then you play. Okay, the first lick uh, again after B7. And you can kind of just brush strings one and two if you like, but be careful because if you play the third string, you get E minor, so you don't want to play the third string. So if you want, you can okay, just brush. Okay, but make sure you don't hear this. Okay? It's a good exercise as well. Then you have. Okay, um, another E chord. So the bass, the sixth string, and 12 9 9 on strings 1, 2, and 3. Okay. You can pick them, you can strum them if you like. 
If you strum, you can play the nine on the fourth string as well. Okay, and then you get a four chord. Then you get this little ditty. Okay, so bar on 13, strings one to four, and the solo is 14, 16, 14, 16 on the E string. Okay, so just play it. Okay, it's a pick strum. You can brush your thumb over the string. Okay, it's kind of the same sound. Okay, so it doesn't really matter whether you use finger style or strum there. Um, then you have, then you have the E uh, chord again. That last one you play, then you have um, you have this. Okay, so you take that, okay, that uh, A flat chord there, A flat seven chord. That's what it is. It's A flat seven. Um, thirteen and fourteen, right? Okay, with the bar on thirteen, you play it, and then you play it one fret up as A seven. Okay, and then fifteen twice and then 14, 12 as a solo. Okay, and you wanna make this as beautiful as you like um, because if you just block it, okay, play it as a block, it's not as beautiful as a strum chord. Okay, so try both and see whether you think I'm wrong and you like the block chord better. Okay, because that happens, it's just one person's opinion. I only arranged the song. Um, my opinion doesn't matter. So, I don't know what, what came over me this, this lesson. Sorry, I'm sorry for being such a goofball, but that happens sometimes, I'm only human. Uh, despite being a bunch of pixels on your screen, I actually exist. So, um, then you play the first leg again. Um, after this, you go back to this immediately. Um, and after a couple of times, you can play it twice, you can play it four times, 16 times, 84 times, um, 1024 times. Uh, you know, when you get tired of it, just play this. Um, okay? This is E major seven. And it kind of leads you to this our second E chord. You can play this, or you can play this. Okay, you can play four and four on strengths two and three. Okay, but this is kind of out of context, octave-wise. Okay, this is actually, ah, uh, sorry. Yeah, this is actually closer to what you want to play, but this, might surprise your listeners a little more. Okay, so this is also a viable option. All right, and that's your lesson. That's your lesson for this arrangement. So before you go download the free tabs from the link in the description below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really seriously don't understand why you haven't already subscribed. There are literally hundreds of lessons here. Check the playlists and find your way around and go download the tab from the description link below. Um, it's for free, everything is for free on Lick and Riff, the lessons, the tabs, everything. But if you want to still get something back anyway, first of all, I thank you for your generosity. Everything goes right back into Lick and Riff into making your lessons and guitar education. You can uh, donate via the donation button on the website or you have in the description also a link to the Patreon page. So um, I thank you. Uh, for anything you choose to give back. So I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy.